Hey everyone, welcome back to Coded Row. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to create a very large procedural planet in Unreal Engine 5. First thing you're going to do is open up that epic launcher, head to marketplace, and we're going to download a plugin called Voxel. So under search for projects, I'm just going to look for that Voxel plugin. And there is a free version that you can download and you would just hit install to engine and just install it to your 5.4. And there is a pro version for $350 if you were to take this a lot more seriously. And it is one of the most popular plugins on Unreal Engine. But now that's done downloading, now that I've downloaded the free one, I'm going to go over to my library, make sure I go to installed plugins, and make sure that Voxel Plugin Free Legacy is installed. And I'm going to launch a 5.4.2 project in this case. And I'm going to click games and create a new third person character. You can do whichever one you want. And I'm going to call this procedural planet. And this project will be available to all Patreons, so check out my Patreon link in the description below. I'll hit create to start up that project. And now I'm gonna go over to my edit and plugins, and we wanna enable that Voxel plugin. So I'll type in Voxel, and you'll see that Voxel plugin free legacy is not enabled, but we did install it to the engine. So I'll hit this check mark. And another plugin that's already inside Unreal Engine is the Sun Position Calculator. So I'll make sure this is checked as well and hit restart for our changes to take effect. And now that the project is restarted, it'll say plugin has been updated and so on. I'm just going to file new level and create an empty level. And now I'm going to select, I'm going to click on this select actors panel and go to all classes. And I'm going to select, and I'm going to search for something called sun sky, just like that. And I'll make sure in the details that I reset the location just so it's in the very center of this world. And I'm gonna change my directional light from the intensity to 75,000 down to 50. So when, I, so when I select my sun sky, I'm gonna go down to the details panel and click on directional light and change the intensity under the light settings from 75,000 down to 50. We don't want it to make the entire universe looking really, really bright. So now let's start actually creating our planet. So when you click on the select actors panel, you're gonna see this new section called voxel which is exactly the, the plugin that we downloaded. We're gonna drag in a voxel world just by clicking it and holding it and dragging it into the scene and you'll see an entire world load in. And now I'll reset the location again by hitting this reset, reset this property to its default value so that it's zero, zero, zero. I'll get a little closer to it. And now while this voxel world is selected in our outliner, down here you're gonna see a voxel-general which has a generator of a class. And for the class, we're gonna be using a planet. So there's a voxel example underscore planet. So I'll just click on that and we don't see it because it's really big. So we can just zoom out or hit the F key in order to see our planet. And we can already see that it's, it's looking really nice, but we want some colors on it. It looks a bit small. So I'm going to make this about 10 times bigger. So under voxel size above where we set our class, I'm going to just change this to something like 1000 and I'll hit F on my keyboard to zoom out into it. And now this is a pretty decent sized planet. And now you'll see that there is a weird sky looking like our planet is inside a planet. So in order to fix that, we're going to click on sun sky. So I'll click on sun sky. And then what I want to do next is just go ahead and change the settings for. So after selecting sun sky, I want to go down here in my details panel and select the atmosphere. So after clicking sky atmosphere, I need to change the transform mode from planet top to planet center at component transform. And since we set the voxel world to be a thousand, we need our ground radius to be to be one. So you'll see for the ground radius, if I set this to something like 10, there's going to be a very weird outline around the planet. It does make it a little more stylized. So if you're going for that look, then go for it. And when you select your sun sky in your details panel, go down to volumetric cloud, and we're going to disable the rendering under visible. We're going to disable the visible check mark in our volumetric cloud, which is under the rendering tab. And this is just to hide clouds because it does look a little awkward. And if you see this weird jittering, that's probably because Lumen is enabled and we want to disable that for this project because we don't really need global illumination when we're outside of the planet. Click edit, project settings, and then just search for Lumen. And we're going to set this dynamic global illumination method to none, as well as the reflection method to none. And now when we go back to our map, we'll see that flickering stops. So now let's select our voxel world and we're going to look for, so while voxel world is selected, we're going to look for our materials. So down here, it'll say voxel dash materials. And we're going to look for something called M underscore voxel material underscore colors. 
And now when we click on this, it's going to add quite some materials. And it'll load in as we get closer in higher detail. But there are some options that we can play around with. So for example, when we click voxel world, we can go to the world size and just change this something a little higher and it'll change the resolution of the world. And it'll be a little hard to tell until I get close to it. And in the search, we can also look for the LOD and put it down to a low, lower value or a higher value. I would really recommend just going through the settings, playing around with them, tinkering it as much as you want. But now if I were to just go really close to it and hit play, so now you'll see that the planet is actually not that big, right? <laughs> oh, never mind. This is huge. Yeah, the planet's really big. Holy crap. So I'll exit out of that. And that's how you create a very, I guess, low stylized looking planet. And of course, using this plugin, you can create a bunch of these. Although if you do, I do recommend instead of using the example planet, you use the hollow planet, just so nothing inside is being loaded. I do recommend using the hollow planet. And of course, th th this does come with multiple classes of planets, such as the layered planet like we're looking at right now, which looks very weird. <laughs> and also the hollow planet, which is a bit more broken up. And you can generate these using the voxel plugin in order to just create all the variety that you want. Thanks for watching Code of the Row. Like, subscribe, comment below what you want to see next, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.